Welcome to Cove. Located on the western boundary of Fort Cavazos, Coppers Cove ISD serves approximately 8,000 students, with nearly half of the student body coming from military-connected families. As one of the finest school districts in Central Texas, Coppers Cove ISD provides a foundation of excellence and a future of success. That's why Coppers Cove ISD's Board of Trustees unanimously approved calling a bond election for Saturday, May 4th. The 2024 bond will ask voters to consider one proposition, Proposition A. As a member of the Coppers Cove ISD community, you will have a direct impact with your vote, affecting every student, every teacher, and every parent. The Facilities Advisory Committee was appointed in November 2021 to help in the development of a long-range facility plan and evaluate current facility conditions throughout the district. The committee consisted of 45 citizens, community leaders, campus staff, and parents. CCISD's Vision 2024 helped shape district decision-making on everything from curriculum and facilities to communication with parents and the community. The committee met multiple times over the past two and a half years to study and prioritize the district's most critical needs and to prepare a recommendation for the Board of Trustees. The committee's final recommendation focused on four priorities. One, safety and security. Two, Coppers Cove High School renovations and expansions. Three, Fairview Jewel Elementary renovations. And four, Coppers Cove Junior High renovations. It has been 19 years since the last Coppers Cove ISD bond election. The 2024 bond would address student growth in CCISD. Today, the district has about 8,000 students and is expected to grow by 2,000 students in the next nine years. Four Coppers Cove ISD campuses are already over their projected peak enrollments for the current school year. The bond proposal includes renovations and expansion at Coppers Cove High School. The project would add 55 classrooms and science labs, along with approximately 750 additional seats to accommodate growth. Coppers Cove ISD originally opened its doors in 1974 as a junior high school. Today, CCHS enrolls more than 2,200 students. Approximately 30 teachers do not have a dedicated classroom. They are required to use carts or backpacks to move from classroom to classroom. Core teachers are required to share classrooms with other teachers, cutting into their conference periods. Prop A would add 55 classrooms in science labs and add more than 750 additional seats to accommodate current population and future growth. The new addition on the north side of Coppers Cove High School will include new entry and waiting areas for both visitors and students, new administration offices, secure nurses' offices with a waiting area, 20 new staff offices, two large conference rooms, an office area for student services, reception and registration areas, additional restrooms, break rooms, and workrooms for staff. CCISD serves more than 2,200 students per day at the high school in three lunch periods. The inside of the cafeteria can only accommodate about 600 students at a time. Currently, the outdoor seating area at the high school cannot be used because it's not fenced. The proposed new kitchen and cafeteria includes 10 serving lines to more efficiently serve students with seating inside and out for 2,000 total students and an upgraded commercial kitchen. The existing main electrical switch gear is original to the building and service to the high school is at capacity. A facility assessment was done by the Texas Association of School Boards Facility Services Team, which recommended upsizing the main switch gear for current load balance and any future power requirements. The bond would allow for the replacement of those electrical panels to include electrical switch gear, transformers, and main distribution panels. The wiring that serves these existing panels and transformers will require replacement as well due to age and condition of the wiring and protective insulation. The current band hall does not have space for instrument storage. The top section is completely full and other instruments are kept on the main floor as an overflow space, which interferes with instruction. Percussion storage space is taking classroom teaching space and instrument storage lockers are broken. 
The current band room is only large enough for one band class at a time, and breakout practice rooms are too small for sections of the band to rehearse. Prop A includes an 8,000 square foot expansion of the high school band hall, including a second band hall, allowing for more rehearsal space. In order to keep up with student growth, several outdoor fields at Coppers Cove High School must be relocated to allow for additions to the campus. Prop A would move the tennis courts to a new, more accessible location to allow more students to access the program. Dedicated dressing rooms, bathrooms, and storage would also be constructed. Currently, Coppers Cove ISD spends approximately $8,000 per year to maintain its soccer practice fields, not including water or labor. There is no dedicated space for the soccer teams to dress. Proposition A would relocate the current soccer practice area to a new location with a new dressing and storage area. CCISD spends approximately $15,000 per year on maintaining the softball and baseball fields, not including water or labor. The baseball and softball programs were both unable to practice on their fields in January 2024 due to drainage issues caused by rain. Natural grass fields require time, labor, chemicals, and millions of gallons of water each year and cannot be used during the spring growing season. New artificial turf on these fields will decrease maintenance time and costs, as well as increase year-round field access, even in inclement weather. Proposition A would relocate the softball field to the front of the high school property and construct batting cages, dedicated dressing rooms, and dedicated parking for easier access. With the installation of artificial turf fields for outdoor activities, CCISD is projected to save approximately $163,000 per year in staffing and maintenance costs. Proposition A would allow CCISD to cover one outdoor field with a 100,000 square foot metal pavilion. A pavilion would help protect students from the Texas heat and inclement weather while participating in outdoor activities. It could also allow multiple groups to practice under shelter from the elements at any given time. Built in 1965, the Miss Jewel Wing at Fairview Jewel Elementary has not been remodeled or updated since the building was constructed. The Fairview Wing was renovated in 2019. Bond 2024 includes renovations to the Miss Jewel Wing at Fairview Jewel Elementary. The project would include new classroom doors, updated life skills classrooms, restrooms, flooring, and updates to bring the campus into ADA compliance. The walkway between the Fairview and Miss Jewel Wings would be enclosed to ensure student safety and limit exposure to inclement weather conditions when walking across campus. Safety and security were a top priority for the district and board when considering the 2024 bond proposal. This would include perimeter fencing, access control systems, surveillance cameras, steel doors, electronic door monitoring, and central lockdown capabilities to make schools more secure. The bond would also include exterior walkway enclosures at Williams Ledger Elementary and Clemens Parsons Elementary. The cafeteria at Coppers Cove Junior High School does not have restrooms, requiring students to leave the area to access restrooms in other parts of the school. The bond proposal also includes renovations to the cafeteria at Coppers Cove Junior High that would create additional indoor seating and include additional restrooms inside the cafeteria area resulting in better student monitoring. School districts in Texas do not receive state funding for renovating or building schools. Instead, they must receive funds through voter-approved school bond elections. So, what is the impact of Bond 2024? If passed, Proposition A would increase property taxes by $27.81 per month based on the average home valued at $200,000 before exemptions. Homeowners with a $200,000 home value will pay approximately $460 less in school taxes than they did in January 2023 with the passing of the bond. Take a look at the ballot language. Since 2019, state law requires school districts to have the phrase, this is a property tax increase on all ballot language for all bond propositions. Homeowners age 65 and older who have filed for and received the over 65 exemption will not see an increase over their frozen dollar amount if there are no major improvements to the property. Check your most recent notice of assessed value change to see if you will be impacted. Veterans who have a 100% disability rating or surviving spouses of a member of the U.S. Armed Services killed in the line of duty would not see an increase in taxes. 
Delaying implementation of the bond program exposes the district to inflation and escalating construction costs estimated at $15.8 million per year. Election day for the 2024 Coppers Cove ISD bond proposal is Saturday, May 4th. Vote early from Monday, April 22nd through Tuesday, April 30th. Weekend voting is available. Saturday voting will be held on April 27th from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. Sunday voting is on April 28th from noon until 3 p.m. There are two early voting locations in CCISD. A complete list of polling sites can be found on the district's bond website at ccisd.com bond 2024.